Hello and welcome to the Cabinet of Creations where you refined horror, horror, beauty and the perfectly imperfect. imperfect. I was feeling a tad bit nostalgic so I thought I'd create a sculpture from one of my childhood classic cartoon favourites, Tweety Pie and Sylvester. But uh, with an obvious Cabinet of Creations twist, zombifying it. Poor Tweety Pie, poor Sylvester as you'll see in a minute. So let's get on with how to zombify almost anything in four easy steps. Step one create damage. Now although I created the damage in the process of making the sculpture, this lovely example here shows you that you can also do it after the fact. So once damage is established, I in this instance go in with matte acrylic paints and colouring treaty pie. This is step two for this creation. Yeah, I decided I didn't like the bright orange of the feet, so I went in with a paler colour. I think this is better. And then I dry it with a hair dryer because I'm impatient. Look at this black, the coverage on this folk art matte acrylic paint, beautiful. Just have to do the one coat here of the black. I stuck on some cotton eyelashes and some wire little hair things on the top of the head and then go in with matte acrylic paints again for the eyes, oh sorry eye, well eyes because I was contemplating whether to do the, oh, oh look at this, it does, don't you hate that one that sometimes happens when the water runs down the brush you didn't realise it was there, oh so annoying, anyway I fixed it. So here you can almost hear my brain cogs working. Shall I do the eye milky white straight away or no, I decide to go in and do it blue as though it was an original colour and then how to distress it into like a like a zombie cataract eye. Just in case you're starting for something original as well. Step three grossing it up yay my fave so we start off with the cataracts again using whatever tools you got in this case my fingers here just to dab on the white to make it a little bit more milky and you wanted to do it on the one eye on tweety pie so you can see the lovely blue on the other now if the zombies the effectively walking dead so the blood wouldn't be particularly fresh and runny depending on <laughs> when it was turned um, so in this case I wanted to do oh I hate this word coagulated ugh, coagulated blood which is really dried dead blood so black in this case to create more depth now I haven't the foggiest where my red acrylic paint's gone so I use some fake FX uh, makeup blood here does the same thing so apply the blood how you fancy.
and then I go over it with super glue to get it all globby and gooey. Love it. This effects blood takes ages to dry as well, so putting super glue over the top of it is almost like a bit of a barrier whilst you wait for it to dry, which could be like days and days. Because <laughs> it's not actually meant to be for this sort of stuff, I don't think, so. But you know, I like to break the rules. It never really dawned on me that Tweety Pie's actually got two toes and not three. So if you're eagle-eyed amongst you, you notice at the beginning I did three toes, but now I've already changed it to two. Oh, look at that. <laughs> nice. Step four, dirty it up. Now I know self-respecting zombie would be all clean and fresh, so I like to use washes, soft pastels, just create that old tired, haggard, just disgusting look really that I love <laughs> and that we associate with zombies. Now here I'm trying to create the blood dripping down, so I put quite a big blob on. And try and give it a little shake for it just to drip. No, not working. So I'll go in with some water, just to make it be, there we go, there we go. it and just let it run down. Didn't quite go where I want. No, no, go a bit more forward, a bit more forward. Oh. There are a number of ways you can support me simply by just liking and sharing and subscribing to my channel. I also have Patreon and buymeacoffee.com forward slash for creations and I also have an Amazon wishlist. 
See you next time. Thank you.